Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's Space Engine 360 video we're going to go on a bit of an adventure and visit the smallest black hole in our galaxy that we've found so far. You're going to visit this uh, in 360 so you can actually rotate your view using your smartphone or your computer by just dragging the cursor across the screen so you can actually see everything around you. So we're going to start by escaping our beautiful planet Earth and escaping our solar system and moving toward the solar system where this black hole is located. Let's move a little bit faster. And now that we're actually moving at a speed of several light years per second, we can proceed to the destination far, far away, about 28,000 light years away from Earth. We're going to the constellation known as Scorpius in the Milky Way, and we're going to a location known as IGR J170913624. It doesn't really have a better name, but as of now, this is the smallest black hole we've discovered that seems to have a mass between 3 to possibly 10 masses of the Sun, which also happens to be the smallest theoretical mass for a black hole to be stable and not disappear. Now this particular system is very very far away. It's even farther away than the central supermassive black hole in the center of our galaxy. This particular black hole, which doesn't seem to have a better name unfortunately, is so far that it would take light 28,000 years to reach it. In other words, what we're looking at, what we're seeing in our telescopes, is light that is 28,000 uh, years old. Now, if I move at this current velocity, it will actually take me quite a while to get there. So I'm going to have to accelerate my speed and move through our galaxy a little bit faster, because otherwise you'll be watching this video for a very, very long time. So let's blast through our galaxy and move toward the star known as IGR J170913624, also known as just IGR J170091. Now this particular black hole was actually only discovered in 2003, so it's not something that we knew about uh, for a long time. And the only reason it was discovered is because it actually has a companion star that we were able to detect using uh, very powerful telescopes and what we've discovered is that there was a very slight variation in that star's luminosity which suggested that it had a partner but that partner was a very powerful black hole and what's interesting is that this system exhibits a kind of a heartbeat basically an x-ray variability pattern that seems to uh, have 5 to 70 uh, second time scale when it changes luminosity and changes its X-ray emissions. And because it's X-ray emissions, we know that it's, it has to be a black hole. It has to be something very powerful creating those very powerful rays. Now we're going to uh, visit this system in a few more seconds and you're going to see what it all looks like as we approach the center of our um, galaxy and as we get closer and closer to the location where the system is. And here we are. I've selected the system directly and you're going to see it any second now. It's very, very close to the center of the galaxy, about 5,000 light years away from the central black hole. And here you go. So this right here is the system with a red dwarf and a black hole. You won't really see a black hole right away. But where exactly is the black hole? Well, it's actually right here. We're going to approach it a little bit closer and you'll get to see what it actually looks like. It's a very, very tiny companion right next to the red dwarf that you just observed. And here it is. I'm going to fix my view directly on the black hole so you actually get to see what it looks like. And let's maybe move around a little bit just so you get a look at what this beautiful object looks like. Now, this is all in real time. So what you may notice is that it has a very, 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 very fast spinning accretion disk. As a matter of fact, this might be one of the fastest or the fastest accretion disks 
we've discovered so far. And in 2011, it was found that the material around it spins at about 3% of the light speed, which is about 20 million miles per hour. A very, very, very fast wind, most of which actually gets expelled into the outer system here. So most of it does not get absorbed into the black hole, which is very, very unusual and very interesting. Now, this black hole is not very large. It's actually very small. It's about five masses of sun in this particular simulation. And that also makes it very tiny. And you're going to discover how small it is in one of the next videos where I'm going to talk about this in a little bit more detail. And now that we actually discovered the black hole, now that we actually discovered the system, we might as well try to approach it, try to get really close to it, and see what happens if we actually try to even enter it. So as we get closer and closer to this black hole, you'll see that the time around us starts to accelerate, everything starts to get blue shifted, things around us don't seem the same as they used to be. And we're now getting really, really close to it. It might actually start getting a little bit scarier because now we're basically orbiting around it very, very fast. You might start getting dizzy, and I'm really sorry if you are getting dizzy, but this is the nature of what it's like to orbit a black hole. Let's go inside, and as we do that, the universe behind us will close forever, and we'll never get back ever again. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. You're going to learn something completely different. Bye-bye.